All right, everyone. Here we are in the workspace, doing something different than making cardboard things or whatever else I do in here. Anyway, today is going to be a bit of a different video. I'm going to be inking a comic. Got some ink here, my brush is in there, whatever. I just want to say right here, I am no professional at making comics. Definitely not a professional. But I do really enjoy it, and I've been learning a bunch of new things that will hopefully allow me to get better. So, and I've learned a lot of tricks that hopefully, again, will just help me get better. And, yeah. Uh, again, I would, I really want to thank every single person who subscribed. Because now we are officially at 15 subscribers. No, this is not the 15 subscriber special. I felt kind of... Felt it was kinda today was not a good day to be doing a fifteen subscriber special. Like like I know like it was twenty years ago but still it just doesn't seem like the best day to do this. So the fifteen subscriber special will come out hopefully before next week. So, yeah, so first thing I'm going to do is get my brush out, and then get out of it. Just going to set it down on a piece of paper that's been in water, just going to let it dry, and so I'm going to, let's see, got to make sure everyone can see, you can see the ink, so I'm going to move the paper real quick, move that. So here's a bottle cap from just a water bottle, and I learned this trick from another YouTuber, so this is not my trick, but, you know, with ink bottles, you really can't tell how much ink goes on your brush, so, take that off, so I learned that if you put, like, just put a straw in it, and then just put your finger on the top, Then you can just kind of empty the ink into the bottle cap. Now this is not a full bottle of ink. So this is not the absolute best demonstration, but it does work. And then you can just put the uh, straw to the side. And yeah. So anyway, gotta put the lid back on the ink, just because we don't need it anymore. Alright, we can move the cap to the side, put our comic back down here. So, um, I'm not a very good camera person for YouTube videos yet, so um, I, I'll, you probably won't be able to see the actual inking very well, but you know, we're trying. I wanted to get a two video day for the 15 subscriber special, well, not special, for the 15 subscriber day, this is what, the, today I found out about it, and I was very happy, so anyway, uh, we're gonna, I'm just gonna start at the closest frame to the, uh, camera, so we got, I think, inked up. I'm just inking it right now to make everything look more noticeable, maybe a bit more professional. Yeah, this is actually my first time ever inking a comic, because, uh, well, back when I started, just wasn't extremely professional about it. 
just kind of a fun little thing. But now I kind of want to get better at it and become a little bit more professional. So I've been watching a bunch of videos, getting better drawing styles. So yeah, my, I'm really cool. It turned out really well, so now my drawings and comics are much better, I think. And, yeah. And hopefully one day I'll be, be able to get to a point where I'll actually maybe be able to have, like, a shop just to sell comics. Stuff like that. Alright, so... We basically got, this is not extremely good inking, but like I said, it's a start. You can see everything's more noticeable. Okay. You can probably just use it to make, give everything a bit more detail. Originally, I was going to try to do... Like a separate YouTube channel for comic stuff just to keep things more organized. You know, things don't always work out. I'll try again in the future, but you know. Yeah. Basically, just inking a comic, and uh, yeah, it's just a simple little thing. Yeah, comics are just a really fun, good hobby. I know a lot of kids do it. A lot of kids like to draw. A lot of times, though, it's kind of sad sometimes, though, because, like, some of these kids have some really nice drawings, you know, and they don't know what to do with them, so they just stop. If you're one of those people, I highly just want to say just don't quit because you don't think you can't do it. I mean, my comics aren't, like, top quality either, you know, you, got, you just try, and if you try, things are going to get better, like, my old comics used to be stick figures, now I've got to the point where I try to just make them look like real humans, just like real chins, or hands, or legs, or details, and stuff like that, just kind of want to like, you just practice, and that is you keep practicing, and you get better. The, probably the most important part. Just practice, and things will get better. Alright, and now I'm moving on to the uh, second panel or whatever. I want to be extra careful on this one, because this is... My favorite panel. I've only done one page so far. But this is probably going to maybe end up the best panel out of the comic. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. I think I'm going to not do the hands or the details. I think I have an idea of the way I could get around that and make things look better. I'm going to try to post some videos on, like, some tips on how to make your comics better. I'm not doing that right now because, like I said, this is my first time ever inking. So, you know, again, I'm not professional. But I just came up with a good idea on how I c you can get around it inking on, like, details. Because it's very, very easy to mess up on details and stuff. 
So anyway, I'm gonna leave some part of some parts of the character out on inking, so I can do a better way and make it look better. Inking can also be a good way to add like shadows. You don't have to do like a the in, you don't have to do the character. You can do it to like a I don't know, show shadows or something. Uh, so yeah, you can probably just uh, probably if you want to make a dark scene, you could probably ink around the object so that way the object is what your, the people are focusing on. Anyway, that's all for now. So I did these two frames. As you can see, this frame I tried to do the whole thing. Turned out good, I think. Kind of messy, but you can I can touch up on that. Here's my favorite frame. Just kind of the character. Kind of just I look I love these shoulders. They kind of I'm trying to do muscles, and I've never did muscles before. So I was trying that, and I really, really loved them. So, uh, yeah. So all these other ones, you know, they're not done yet, but, you know, just like I said, you try. So I hope this video has helped you. If you want to start making comics, I'm going to be posting more videos like this just for that kind of stuff. I'm going to try to make some videos on, like, different cheats or whatever you can do. I'd probably call them, like, comic cheats just to make things easier for you. Maybe a lot of people probably don't want to, don't, can't afford all these professional things. I mean, I don't blame you. Like, we got this thing for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I do have a couple professional things. These are like colored pencils, and I have a bunch of art stuff in here. You know, I guess I was just lucky. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for 15 subscribers. Now let's go to 20.